How you doing guys? Back again with another video and in this one we're going to be doing the full review of the Onza Black Carve. But before we jump into the video, if you haven't liked and subscribed, consider doing so so you can stay up to date with all the videos that we post. So the price of this board is £1,239 and that depends on what wheel setup you go with. I think maybe if you just go with the AT wheel setup, which is pre-orders at the moment only, that's maybe a little bit more expensive. But the setup that we've got is the 115mm wheel setup. Also, this board is a pre-production unit. We haven't got a finalised version just yet, so just bear that in mind throughout this video. Now, when it comes to the actual look of this board, I really do like the way that it looks. It looks really nice and stealthy. It's got that carbon fiber battery enclosure on it, and it just looks like a, a really nice board. Like I said in the previous video of the impressions, I wasn't too keen on the size of the logo in and all the rest of it that was on the board there, but I do believe Fabi or Onza has actually made changes and made the logo smaller for the final production units that are out there now. So touching a little bit upon how the ride has been on this board and I'm really impressed with the way this board actually feels from the double kingpin trucks to those 115 millimeter rubber wheels that are on it. It really does carve really, really nicely. It just so whippy, so maneuverable. The fact that it's got a short wheelbase on it makes the board even more maneuverable than some of the other longer boards that are out there. And touching a little bit more on how the rides actually felt, just going over day to day debris, cracks from the pavements and all the rest of it, it's felt quite good. And the deck is quite a stiff deck, so it's very comparable to say something like the Carbon GTR. But day-to-day -day use, going over lumps, bumps and cracks, it's felt really great. There is a slight bit of flex to the board, but nothing to really shout about or talk home about. It's very, very minimal. So I would class this as a stiff deck board. So with this board being a belt driven board, Onza make not only gears for ABEC wheels but also for the Kegel wheels as well. Now the thing is with this board is if you're thinking can you change the gears and put the Evolve gears on, no they don't fit because the actual shafts on the truck themselves are I think believe 10 millimeters, whereas the Evolves are 7. So the gears don't actually fit on this board, we've tried, I would have loved to have put the ATs on it to see what it was really like but unfortunately they don't fit. Now even though you can't fit the Evolve gears on this board, Onza does actually make a couple of different gearing options for you. So they have a 40 tooth gear and also a 45 tooth gear as well. For Kegel and ABEC wheels. But like I said earlier on in the video, they are bringing out 80 wheels for this board and also that's going to come and ship with a 60 tooth gear on it. Now the trucks on this board are double kingpin trucks and like we've said many or numerous times before, double kingpin trucks are really a love-hate relationship. Once you've used them and you've got them dialed into exactly the way that you like them, it's really, really hard and difficult to go back to anything else that's not got double kingpin trucks. Like today we've been riding about on the Onza and also the Flex as well. And switching over from the Onza to the X-Way Flex, you can really feel the difference with those double kingpin trucks, the maneuverability of the board, and also just the overall, just general performance of the way that it feels. It just feels so much nicer just easier to carve with and overall I just really love double kingpin trucks so it's great to see that they've incorporated these on this board. Now talking a little bit about the wheels on this board they're 115 millimeters and they're made of like a solid rubber compound so they're not going to wear out as quick as say an AT wheel would they're going to last you a lot longer also you're not going to have to worry about any punches or anything like that they do wear out quite quick so the tread on them if you're going to be sliding the board around a lot or doing any types of tricks with this board then they will wear out quite quick but because they're solid rubber even when you've taken the tread off you've still got loads of life left in these wheels now when you actually are riding day to day with these wheels they do feel really really good they're sort of like a hybrid between an AT and a street wheel they're not fully AT so there's instances where we've been riding and I've had to jump off the board to go over like a cattle grid or something whereas Chris riding his bamboo GTR can just literally fly straight over the cattle grid without even having to stop so a little bit frustrating sometimes but generally if you're not going to be riding over that types of things you're just going to be going over sort of rough roads I wouldn't say go over any stones with them but you know, rough roads, just general day-to-day -day riding, they're gonna feel really comfortable, and they're definitely gonna be more comfortable than riding street wheels. Okay, so talking a little bit about the speed of this board, this is one of those things that this is a fast board, extremely fast. Now, at 50% earlier on, I was still managing to achieve speeds of 32 miles an hour on this board. So if you're looking for a board that's gonna be fast and compete against all the other types of electric skateboards that are out there, it's not gonna compete with like your lacrosse or your NYC Callies or anything like that, but this board is extremely fast. So if you're riding with anyone that's got the Evolve, X-Ways, Backfire boards or anything like that, you are not gonna to have to worry about not being able to keep up with these. 
Now, like I said, it is a very, very fast board, and the max speed that I've managed to actually achieve on this board is a top speed of 35 miles per hour, and that's when it's roughly sort of 100% or fully charged board. It does gradually deplete in speed as you go down the battery, but at 50%, 32 miles an hour, I can't argue with that. Now, when it comes to the actual range of the board and how far you're going to be able to go on it, especially as it does such high speeds, I've managed to be able to achieve 18 miles of range, just day-to-day -day riding. I don't sort of go anywhere slow. I'm normally flat out everywhere I go. So that's just the way we like to test our boards. That's the way we ride. And, you know, I can't imagine everybody that's going to buy an electric skateboard is going to be flat out 90% of the time. So with this board, flat out most of the time, 18 miles of range. I'm really, really happy with that, and I think that's a, a good, good range. And after you've done those 18 miles, the charge time for this board is going to be roughly three to four hours, depending on how much you actually deplete the battery. But if it's from 0% to 100%, you're looking at around three to four hours. Normally, we only ride for about 50% before we need to charge again, and that normally charges up in about an hour and a half, and I'm back good to go again. So the remote on this board is actually quite nice. It feels really nice in the hand. It's just a standard Hobbywing remote, but it has got the LCD screen on it to display all the battery percentage of the board, the remote, the speed that you're going, and how many miles you've taken on that trip. So in terms of the way the actual remote feels, it's got that very generic scroll wheel on it, and it just feels like a, a nice remote. It's not, not any bells or whistles, but as remotes go, it does feel quite good. And also one other thing that's missing from the remote, as Chris likes, is a dead man switch. So it'd be really great if maybe on the next version of the board, they could incorporate that into the remote. Now talking a little bit about the way that this board accelerates, because we all know that it goes ridiculously fast at the top end, but the acceleration for me I found is a little bit lacking, shall we say. I would like a little bit more of a punch there when accelerating on the boards. I don't think it's aggressive enough for my style of riding. Even though it's not aggressive enough for my style of riding, I think if you was to purchase this board, um, the acceleration would be absolutely fine for you guys. We've tested with other boards and the acceleration is pretty much exactly the same as what the other boards are. So I think that's just us being a little bit too picky about the acceleration. But again, we would always like it a little bit more aggressive. And last but not least, I just want to touch on the actual braking of this board. Again, with the braking, it's a very similar story to the acceleration. It's not aggressive enough and it is a little bit soft. It's not bad, so if you do need to stop, you can stop but I would really like it a little bit more of a, a sharper, more aggressive break on there, just to give me more confidence that I know at those high speeds that I'm gonna to come to a standstill when it matters the most. So overall, final summary of this board, I think it's a really, really good board. It's priced at a very competitive price, I would say, for what you're getting, 18 miles of range, top speed of about 35 miles an hour. And you know, generally, it's a very well-built, good constructed board. Again, some of the major points that we've touched upon here is acceleration lacking a little bit for us, but I think for the general e-skate community, that acceleration would be perfectly acceptable. Again, with the braking, I do think it's a little bit soft, could do with being a little bit more aggressive considering the speeds that this board actually can achieve. But overall, great board, really impressed with it. Can't wait for Onza to bring out a newer version. And also, I can't wait for Onza to bring out their AT version as well. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Appreciate you watching all the way to the end if you've made it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.